that's next week. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. So today we're at Cambridge University. Should I say that downstairs? <laughs> I'm, I'm honoured to be at Cambridge. <laughs> Why do you love me? <laughs> All right, cool. We're at Oxford University. It's an honour to be here. I didn't get to go to uni, so to come here and speak in front of some real educated students is going to be good. But I'm just being myself and spend uh, my bank holiday here at the yeah. university. <laughs> Where else would I want to be? <laughs> but now nah, I'm looking forward to it, honestly, because I look at the long list of people that have been here, um, the history of this place. I've got a son as well, so imagine him coming here, that would be class. And if not him, hopefully a nephew, a niece, someone like that, of the future generations to come. So I think this is like the pinnacle of common soon. Older, isn't she? Yeah, well, you know, age does look like that to you, but uh, it's always. You know, they say it's like young crap. <laughs> 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 um, this, um, actually, actually, it's a property, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a property. You're doing a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little president, maybe we can. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, prize for your this, this construction little, work. A little, a little artwork we have outside the door. To um, cover any, um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cover any cracks. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, wait when you come in. So um, is this your room, yeah? <laughs> wow. So, yeah, so this is like the office. There's so many stories um, about this office and who was in here. So I sat at the head table. Yeah, go for it, go for it, go for it. It's up. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <sighs> you know what? Don't be too comfortable. Nah, well. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So Josh, that's the room we'll be sleeping in. Which is over the way. Back then, as you can see, there's a certain um, characteristics of people that's quite different to now. One, uh, I don't think there's one woman in this picture. Um, that's not the case anymore. Generations are changed a lot in terms of like suits and how people present themselves, even more relaxed and comfortable and... This is the first time I've worn a suit in a week, this is disgusting yeah. out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I wanted to wear a suit, but what they said is be yourself, innit? Yeah, of course, you know. I'm an athlete, you've invited me down as an athlete. Don't try and be anything more than what I am. Where athletes sometimes have that responsibility of being like community leaders, mm -hmm. accountants, uh, lawyers for people, family, like head of families, athletes. Everything we're expected to do so much, and ultimately our goal is just to be focused on our sport. So it's hard because I'm not actually a speaker. No. <laughs> you know, as an athlete, you're supposed to we just go in and fight, but you always have to improve your speech and what you talk about. It's quite difficult being an athlete because there's so much expected from you. Of course, um, of course. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how I deal with the pressure of speaking in front of 150 nah, people. I'll so. be the one dealing with the pressure. Don't yeah. <laughs> Why? Are you going to be asking me questions? I'm the one asking the questions. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, try, I try to hide that so that, you know, we have a good rapport. Oh, yeah, cool, 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 <laughs> and cool, cool. I just hit you with the... Uh... <laughs> I'll see you up there like, what, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool, let's go. Thank you guys as well, yeah? Thank you. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> the take control, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> yeah, man. Boxing and books. Nice. <laughs> what are you studying? I study biology. Yeah? yeah. What's your future? My future, I want to be a rapper and a businessman. Is it? Yeah, you got bars, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Alright, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Are you nervous? Am I nervous? He's nervous, I think so. So what's going to happen is that I'll go in first, I'll do like a little introduction about you, about the week, and then I'll, then I'll say, join me and welcome me now to Joshua. Once you start hearing the applause, that's when you come in. What if they're like, boo? Should I just 
<laughs> Start the engine and leave. You have to firm it, innit? Like, you know, that's, like yeah, what, more that's, that's what her life is. It's like, like crack. Like. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> just just whisper that one. All right, cool. Right, cool. So very um, historical, <laughs> seen some cracks in some walls, but that's what, that's what makes this what it is. <laughs> that's what makes this place what it is, you know. What advice would you give to someone who might be currently down on the luck or maybe taking a couple run left turns? <clears throat> Sixth round against Vladimir Klitschko. I was up, then boom, I'm down on my luck. I'm flat on my back. If you're on your back, it doesn't mean that's where you belong. <clears throat> it's going to be tough to get back up, but it definitely means that you can get up. So he, that's where I heard that saying. And actually, <clears throat> when I was knocked down in round six, it actually came to my mind after about four seconds when I got my senses <laughs> back. But after about four seconds when I got my senses back, it, honestly, it came to me and I thought, that's it. If I can look up, I can get up. And I just got up and I cracked on and threw more trials and tribulations. I went out and got the knockout in round 11. He was, yeah, he was my toughest for sure. Did you watch that one? I was there. You was there? <laughs> Is it? You enjoy it? Yeah. All right, all right for summer. <laughs> Speaking of which, really quickly, what was on that memory stick that Klitschko handed you? Do you know what? I am, um, so yeah, Klitschko, yeah. So we're at a press conference now and he said, I've got a memory stick sewn into my gown that is going to break down how I defeat Anthony Joshua. So funny enough, after the fight, so I sent the invoice, it cleared. So I rang my guys, I'm like, yeah, I want to put a bid in for this uh, stick. Because he put it up for auction, he was going to donate the funds to his charity. So I called my guys, I was like, yeah, I'm ready to put in a bid for this <laughs> stick. Let's call it five grand. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, that's, quite, that's a lot of money, no? It's a lot of money. I think it sold for something like 200 grand or something like that, 200 or something grand. So yeah, I'd never got to see what was on it. I've never heard what was on it. Um, thank you for being here. Um, so my question is, what do you listen to? Can I pass my phone quickly? I'd maybe a lot, I played a lot of songs I was listening to. No camera, I had to punch in my past. <laughs> 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 I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this one? Don't tell anyone, yeah? <laughs> All right. Don't worry. I mean, it's DMX. <laughs> it's DMX Rough Riders. <laughs> what are you not good at? What am I not good at? I never really thought of that. <laughs> what am I not good at? I would say... I people please a lot. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. I always have people's thoughts at the forefront of what's good for me. And is being selfish good? I think it, it's not bad, is it, when you're looking out for number one? So I think not looking out for number one is something I'm not so good at. And yeah, I just need to find more time to better myself and put myself first and be more present, be more present. You got Obviously a rematch coming up with Usyk. Yes. How would you define him as an opponent? Usyk is a top tier opponent, an Olympic gold medalist, um, a former cruiserweight, undisputed champion, now heavyweight champion. And I think someone that should go down in boxing history. And I take him on in three months. So God willing, with prayers and hard work, I'll get the win and I will become three time heavyweight champion of the world. So I'm just putting it out there now. <laughs> 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 Um, so, unfortunately, that does conclude tonight's event. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, after three, we're all going to make a big cheer, yeah? Three, two, one. Thank you guys, I appreciate it, thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Thank you. Thank you, yeah? Thank you. Thank you so much. Here we are at Oxford University, having a great time with the students, it was lit, um, talking with them, having a laugh with them, playing chess, seeing some of the historical things that this uni has to offer. I never got to come to uni, imagine big AJ in campus, you know what I'm saying, holding it down, I would have set up a little uh, organisation in here somehow and uh, taken over. <laughs> But yeah, back to the boxing gym where I run my business, I handle my business. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, behind the scenes, a day in the life out of the gym. I've actually had 11 days off. The fight got scheduled to July 23rd. It was actually June 11th. Is it June 11th? It was June 11th. It's now scheduled to July 23rd, so I had 11 days off. This is the last day of my out of gym lifestyle so off to the gym we go thanks for tuning in and i'll catch up with you guys soon peace